In this video, we want to have a look at how to find the lengths of the hypotenuse or adjacent sides of right angled triangles. So we've got a couple of examples here. Remember the first thing to do is to label the sides of your triangle. So if we're looking at this example over here, x is opposite the right angle, so that's going to be the hypotenuse side. Our angle of interest is 59 degrees, that's the angle that we've been given. So the side which is opposite that angle will be the opposite side. And the third side is the adjacent side. So label your triangle first. Then what you should do is circle or highlight what you know. So we know the length of the opposite side, so I'm going to use that. And also circle or highlight the length of the side that you're trying to find. So I'm trying to find x. Now once you've circled what you know and what you're trying to find, you can see that you've got the opposite side and the hypotenuse side. So the trig ratio that you will be using, if we're using the acronym SOKOTOA, Um, we look for the trig ratio that uses O and H, and it's this one here. So you need to write out the trig ratio. So sine theta equals O divided by H. And then substitute in what you know. So theta is the angle. So sine 59 is equal to, the opposite side is 3.8 meters. The hypotenuse side is x, and we'll notice here that x is in the denominator, it's on the bottom of that ratio. So when that happens, all we need to do is just swap those two there. So we end up with x is equal to 3.8 divided by sine 59. So if you just grab your calculator and we are entering 3.8 divided by sine 59 equals 4.4. So x is equal to 4.4 meters. Okay, let's have a look at the second example here. Again, labeling the sides of our triangle. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse side. Adjacent to the angle of interest, or the given angle, is uh, this side here, so that will be A. And opposite the angle of interest is the opposite side. So what are we given? We are given the length of the opposite side, and we're trying to find the adjacent side. So we're dealing with O and A, so this is the trig ratio we're dealing with. TOA, which stands for uh, the tangent of the angle, is equal to opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So now substitute in what we know. We know the angle, it's 61. The opposite side is 14.5 meters, divided by the adjacent side, which is y. So our unknown side length is, on, is in the denominator, it's on the bottom. So we need to swap these two here. y is therefore equal to 14.5 divided by 10.61. So 14.5 divided by 10.61 equals 8.0. So y is equal to 8.0 meters. So that's finding the um, hypotenuse or adjacent sides, just given a basic triangle. Let's have a look at an actual example now. So in this example we need to find the length of the ramp. So we have a ramp here, um, a building here, and this is ground level. We know this angle here, so the angle between the, 
the ramp and the ground and this must be the right angle here so let's label our right angle triangle so opposite the right angle will be the hypotenuse side uh, between the the sorry the ground level side that will be the adjacent side because that side is adjacent to the angle and the right angle and that 1.2 meters will be the opposite side so what we're trying to find is we're trying to find the length of the ramp which is that side length there um, we are given this height here uh, which is the height of the top of the ramp to the ground so that's 1.2 meters and we're given the angle so we're dealing with O and H which is the, the ratio we're using is sine of theta equals O over H we know the angle the angle is 9 the opposite side is 1.2 meters divided by the length of the ramp Okay, so our unknown length is on the bottom here so all we need to do is just swap these two around so ramp is equal to 1.2 divided by sine 9 so 1.2 divided by sine of 9 degrees equals 7.7 .7 meters so if we were to round that so the ramp 7.7 .7 meters.